Welcome back, Raw Reviewers and Corner Customizers, to another Raw Review. And what are we Raw Reviewing this week? Why, it's Funamari! Gokai Machine Number 4. Also known as the Ninja Zord, and the American product, which we still haven't seen on TV yet. So there is our box. Like most boxes, it's a top loader. So I will remove the box. Inside we have our instructions as normal. We have got this set of instructions. So I'll turn that off for a moment. We have got the cardboard box holding all the stuff. It is composed of one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven parts. So let's take those parts out of their containers. Companion piece. Central. Got the box over here on the side to show us what he looks like in Funamari mode. So let's assemble that. Here's obviously the central piece. Which as you can see will fold open, but we're gonna keep it in this form. I do this at a weird angle so it's on camera. Sorry about that, folks. Right here are two little tiny tabs. Flip that up. Another tiny tab. I put those on wrong. Stay in there. I know you're supposed to flip out for when you're combining with a go -Kyo, but I need you to stay together so I can put you together in robot mode. Funamari is coming together quite nicely now. Another little tab to bring down here. 
is a bit tricky. You'll see that there are forward facing tabs here and inverted tabs here. Those just love to fly out. Now this button here, this is not really a tab, it's a button, but you get the idea. If you look at the box, we know we want it in like that. to see where it plugs in because of the angle I'm working at. There's a little socket there. Right there, which goes into here. Pull down the tab on the other side, repeat the process. And that only leaves Funamari's head. is a little tricky to actually get into the right position. So you can see back here it folds all the way out and it'll fit here nice and perfectly for the chest decaling, but actually getting it to properly pull up so you can see the head, the eyes, is a little trickier. Wow, there we go. I kept messing with this, but I could never get the other face to show. There we go. Now it's finally shown up. There is Funamari. He has this that so he can hold on to his back. afraid of putting this in here since this thing's a bit finicky. I'm afraid if I tap any of these buttons everything will come flying out. But he is supposed to be able to wear this on his back. And that's about as comfortable as I feel putting it in there. Of course he's got this for the full transformation. You can't actually really hold it. There's no real way to actually properly hold it. Anyway, so let us. T so there he is in full Funamari mode. Now let's look at him when he combines with Go Kai. Oh. Move the turntable out of the way. Bring Go Kai Owen. Pull the sword out of his hand. Open up all of his containers. Got the cannon to pull out. Alright, so let's disassemble Funamati. Here are Funamari's arms, which will go into, well, Go Kaiho's arms. When 
is activated, that flips up. I'll show you again. So we fold that up. Take that into the arm. These things love to flip out. Now you're going to want to put it in upside down from the way he wears it. Now you can close him up. Do the same thing on the other side. Green matches pretty well. I can get that to slide in there. There's something else stuck in there. No, there is not. I think this one is probably the first one that's actually had a clean fit inside of Gokaio. And that'll happen. What I'm trying to do, there we go, now it's linked in, now it's locked in. You heard that heavy click, right? Fold everything down. No, you're not falling out. Leave it partially open for this one. For this one, it's a little bit different. Oh, forgot to fold those out of the way. Pull off the helmet. So as you see, it'll come up and it'll sit there. But, we're going to try and go for the full transformation. I'm going to try at least get it to work. I don't think it will, though. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice and locked in. One leg. Now, for those of you who might be able to see, there's a tiny little tab in here which links up with that tab right there, which is how you want to link this into here. Obviously, fold down those clips. Oh, no, no, you're trying to come out. I don't want you to come out just yet. Same thing here. Fold that clip down. Stick it inside the yellow leg. Preferably in a way that doesn't cause the button to be hit. And now, step back a bit. We have Gokayo, ready, willing, and able. Let's turn the back. <laughs> Lovely. an easy flip button but there isn't. Pull it up, lock it down on the helmet. Oh, hold on. You can see there's a little clip in the top of his head. What we're clipping in is a clip on the top of the green into there, locking it down. And there you go. Funamari Gokayo. I do kind of wish that I could close that up because otherwise you have to kind of pull it off or leave it down there or whatever. I know you can do that, which I guess is okay, but eh. Now, 
how do, what do I think of Funamari? Well, Funamari is actually not that bad. Uh, he does actually come, he does come with his little weapon here, which can, his little pinwheel, which can spin. There we go. There's an actual clip right here, which keeps it from free spinning. But it's like that, it's locked. Put this on. It, well, it still spins, but because it came unlocked, of course. But basically, that's what that little peg does. And sometimes when you put it in here, it'll stay locked, preventing it from properly spinning. There we go. See? It's not spinning anymore. However, if we go back here, pull the clip free, pinwheel. And of course, you can put that in Gokayo's hand. Either one should work since it's just a simple little stand. So you should be able to put it into either one. If you wanted to, you could say, take the two swords, combine them from the uh, samurai version of the Red Lion, put that in the blue hand, put that in the other one. If you really want to have them carrying a lot of weapons around, or you can keep these hung on the belt, whatever you want to do. But that is Funamari Gokayo. Hurricane Gokayo. What do I think of it? Eh. Well, it's, a, it's one of the lower end toys. No electronics. Pretty small. Um, uh, it fits pretty well. But one thing I really don't like about any of the, most of these combinations is how open they leave the chest. And I really don't like these flop flaps on the outside. I mean... The American product isn't much better. If we take a look at Ultimate uh, Legendary Megazord. They still got all that blank space there. So, you know, it's not a perfect setup. These are not perfectly designed toys. They do leave some space to be filled and some various odd spot. But on the whole, it's not a bad toy. It's one of the lower cost ones. Um, so if you actually like this combination, if you like the robot mode itself, then I say go for it. There's no re real reason not to get it. It's fun. It has a nice little gimmick if you can manage to get everything to close without automatically flipping open. And it, um, it's well made. Obviously, when I actually get the Ninja Zord at some point in the future, I can do a cross-comparison between the two, but, you know, it's not a bad setup. None of these are really sharp or pointy, so they won't really hurt anyone. If you're getting this for your kid, because, you know, these were intended for kids, I think they'll have plenty of fun with it. Um, so, really, it's not a bad product. Thumbs up. If you like what you see, go and get it. If you don't mind the import prices, because you still have to keep in mind that this show was from 2011, so it's been off the air for a while. That said, there's nothing particularly wrong, but there's nothing particularly spectacular about Funamari. So, keep that in mind, and I will see you in the future. Peace out.